I'm Felipe Medeiros. I'm professor of ophthalmology at the University of California in San Diego. So what's corneal hysteresis? Um, corneal hysteresis is a measure of the biomechanical properties of the cornea. It's related to the viscoelastic properties of the tissue, the ability of the cornea to absorb and dissipate energy. Uh, corneal hysteresis can be easily acquired with the ocular response analyzer, which is an instrument that is commercially available. So, uh, how important is corneal hysteresis? How does it relate to glaucoma progression? So, we conducted recently a large prospective longitudinal study that we followed a large number of glaucoma patients and what we found was that corneal hysteresis was predictive of future glaucoma progression. So by taking measurements of corneal hysteresis, clinicians would be able to predict those patients who would go on to get glaucoma progression. So in this study, we found that patients who had low corneal hysteresis measurements, and particularly those who had a combination of low corneal hysteresis measurements and high intraocular pressure, there were those who were at highest risk for glaucoma progression over time. So now we have a large uh, amount of evidence that has accumulated uh, with regard to the role of corneal hysteresis for detection of glaucoma and for uh, assessment of glaucoma progression. And we have a better understanding of how to position corneal hysteresis uh, in clinical practice. So what's the importance of corneal hysteresis for clinicians? Uh, what we found was that corneal hysteresis was predictive of glaucoma progression and the predictive ability was superior to that of corneal thickness. So by collecting measurements of corneal hysteresis, a clinician uh, will be able to determine which patients are at higher risk for uh, glaucoma progression, and these patients will likely uh, need to be uh, more carefully monitored or may need a more aggressive intervention. So corneal hysteresis has just recently uh, received a billing code uh, so that clinicians now can bill for measurements of corneal hysteresis and then incorporate those measurements in clinical practice.